So, it's supposed to rain all morning, so we're getting our uh, heel lock in this morning. Ready, heel. Right. And I just wanted to throw this out there. I don't know how true it is, but everybody says something different. Like some people say sniff locks are better for the dog, and some people, other people say that heel walking is better. So, I would say leadership wise and relationship wise, right, he's not used to this right now. Like, usually right now, he's free walking at this time of day. So, that's the, that's the pattern that we've created, right? Right now, it's just kind of free walk. So, right, so see how it's all over the place. And of course, I don't have food because I wasn't prepared for this. But you don't need to, right? So we're just walking. Just follow the body. It makes it hard with the long line. Um, anyways, leadership wise and relationship wise, walking with you is much better. It's, there's, a, there's a bonding to it, right? Um, that's why on the free walks, when they, which is more natural to them, so on the free walks, uh, I always have food, except for on this potty walk. I don't know why I don't. Maybe I need to start doing on this walk too. Uh, right, so she's all, kind of all over the place. Just a couple little correction right there. Um, right, see even my direction changes. Because it's not, I'm going to say it's because the, our pattern isn't to be doing this in certain but he's got to be able to do it at all times. Good boy. Yeah. Uh, but he's looking for the birds. Usually I let this one be his. So I let the dogs have like a couple sniff walks. And then we have our structure time. Um, so they get both of it. So I can't tell you which is better. Right? But this is what I would say. If you have a rainy ass day coming up, right, like on rainy days, I would say do your structure. Let him go potty and do structure walk, right? Which is, this is what I call structure walk, just walking with people. Um, as opposed to the sniff walk. Because most of the dogs like this with the high drive, right, most of these high drive dogs, I've noticed that the sniff walks gets them more excited when the people say that it calms them down. So, now, does it calm them down further in the day? That part, maybe that's what they're saying. But I can tell you that during, I don't know because I do both. It's just hard for me to tell. Uh, but during the walk, they're usually more jacked up on the sniff time. So, my main point is, your structure is more important than him sniffing. Oh. Sniffing is good for him, obviously. But your structure and your bonding and your leadership is more important. Alright, so... The correction. It's coming back down. I don't know what he got excited about over there. Oh, the rain is starting. Sprinkles. So, so what I did on this one is, this is usually just out to let a potty, but since it's going to be raining until like noon or one-ish, I went ahead and did the three walk up, which is about uh, you know, about 10 minutes or so. And then now we're doing the structured walk back. And then we'll do the free walk again so he can potty. Calm down. Do uh, a calm down correction. He's looking for the squirrels that are over there. These guys, they remember that shit. They remember everywhere something exciting happened. Anyways, that's that talk.